Okay, in this video, I just want to make it so we can easily see our health. Uh, just to kind of have a little widget there. So let's go to widgets. And uh, let's create a new, I guess under UI, where we have our crosshair. We can also add on to that. And I think I just pulled a chunk of skin off my finger. What the heck did I feel? Okay, I don't know what that was, but it felt like a big ball. Anyways, uh, W underscore crosshair. We will probably want to rename this. So let's go back to it. So here's our crosshair. Let's change this one to W underscore HUD, I think is a better name. So that's going to contain our crosshair as well as our uh, food and water right here. This one, I'm just going to name it by default for food, or sorry, not food and water, food and health. Paste it down again. Yeah, I guess I didn't paste it. There we go. And call this one health. Go ahead and anchor this to the middle left. Reset. Let's do 150 by 40. Same exact thing for this one. And we're going to bump these up on the Y. So let's do 0 0.5. And let's do, actually, let's do 2. And for this one, let's do negative 2. All right, better yet, negative 1 and negative 1, so that way they're spaced 2 apart. Sorry, negative 1 and 1. And let's bring these out a little bit. So let's go to negative 1, or negative 0 0.5. That looks better, negative 0 0.5. So there we have those being displayed. Set these as variables, so tb underscore health. And here's our food, so tb underscore food. Go to the graph and add a new function here. And let's just give this one a name of update stats. And I want it to take in two floats. The first one's going to be food, and the next one's going to be health. And obviously, what these are going to do is drive our food and health. So food's going to be set text. Oops. And it's going to convert food. I'll just try to do it like that to simplify it. And then we're going to have our health set text. And that's going to be health. Kind of like so. So now we just have to access this. So if we go to our UI widget where we have our crosshair, let me rename this to W underscore HUD. Like so. Go to our graph. Let's do add a new function. Let's call it update stats. And all that's going to do is grab our HUD and call update stats. So what we have to do is pretty much call or pass in our, you know, food and water. So we're going to add two floats here again. So just name them food. Why do I keep saying water? Food and health. Like that, link them in. And we're done. So now we just have to call this. So what I'm going to do is create a blueprint implementable event. So you function blueprint implementable event category. Again, I'm just going to do tutorial. And let's do void update stats. It's going to be float hunger and float health. And I just realized I'm calling it hunger or sorry, food instead of hunger. So now we want to call update stats. So we're in our, in our add health, we're going to do, what did I have copied? We're going to call update stats and we're going to pass in our hunger and our health. Same thing with add health. We're going to do the exact same thing, or sorry, remove hunger. We're going to do the exact same thing, call update stats. And now because I'm thinking about it, because I have this called food, let's change this one to hunger because that makes more sense in both of these functions. So there we go. 
All right, so we have our function set up. We should be able to trigger this, so let's go ahead and close it and recompile. And it's throwing a fit. So what we're going to have to do is let's go to our character.h, where we create the, where is it, right here? We're create the function, let's just name it new hunger and new health. Then recompile and relaunch. Alrighty, once we are here, we can reopen the assets. And actually what we need to do is open up our character. So let's bring that up. And remember that implementable event, update stats. Let's set that up. So let's do update stats. And we want to get our widget. So what we do here with w underscore UI, we're going to call update stats. And I guess actually now that I remember, we have these as variables, so we could just access it directly. But we're going to pass in new hunger and new health and see what happens. So we have food and water. Let's pick these up and they should change. So I click it. Now we have negative 30 for food. Click the water or the hunger. And we have 10 for the hunger. So that's working. Now we just want to trigger that event pretty much right after we uh, add or create the, wait a minute, after we create the widget. So after we add it to the viewport, let's just go ahead and call our, was it our event? What was it called, the event? Yeah, update stats. Can I not call you? And we got. Okay, let's see. And I. Uh, let me try something else. Custom, can we. ADF. Okay, so that triggers the event. So we might have to switch this to a blueprint native event to be able to call it. So let's close this down, save everything. And we're going to go to blueprint native event instead. Okay, what are you complaining about? Oh, yes. So let's go ahead and generate that implementation. Or better yet, we can do that right inside the header since we don't have one, like so. Is that enough for you? I'm going to assume yes, because that should compile. Are we gonna? No, we are not. So let's create the implementation. Okay, we can just leave it empty. And it should work now. Unless I'm misunderstanding what Blueprint Native Events do. Which I hopefully don't think I am. So, let's go ahead and get everything relaunched, open everything back up. We really just need our character so we can close down our HUDs. And we have the event update stats. And still the same. Oh well. So, I want to call it on begin play, but it kind of is what it is. What we could do is whenever we spawn, we could be lazy and just have a simple timer that calls update stats. Because I know that's going to probably take a little bit of time to do so, but... I'm not worried about it because we have everything working as needed. Again, this is mostly focused on inventory. I just wanted to have something there so we could see it by reference as to that our items actually work. So what we want to do in the next few videos is actually replicate this. Because if I play with two clients, set the net mode as listen server, and give this a try, we're going to have some issues. But everything works locally. So on this guy right here, I'll pick an item up, press I, that widget looks horrible, click it, close it, and we have, well obviously our widget screwed up, but it says negative 30 underneath food. And if I try to do it with this guy, click it, close it, we have our health. So they're kind of all messed up. So we're going to have to go through and fix a little bit of that. And that's pretty much all we're going to be doing in the next few videos. So, that's going to be all for this one. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon down in the description below, where I have a Team Deathmatch series just for Patreons, as well as you get early access to pretty much all of my videos. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord. That's also linked down below, and I'll try to help you out. So, I'll see you in the next video.